Hey guys, welcome to my Rocket Dock tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your Windows 7 computer go from the messy jumbled up mess that it probably is now to the sleek, clean, and beautiful d -d dock design thing that I have here on my screen. Ignore this. Um, <laughs> that's actually false for this video, but this is what we're really aiming for. A clean, nice, sleek background with a dock tray at, like incorporated into it. Um, and we're going to make this bar disappear if you don't have more than one monitor that you can put the bar on. And all you're going to need for this is a program called Rocket Dock. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and download that. You can follow what I'm doing or you can just look in the description for the uh, for the link. Go to Google and type in Rocket Dock. Uh, go to the website. Uh, click download, download at the top. You want to download Rocket Dock. Alright, now just go ahead and install it. I already have it installed so I'm not going to do that. Now once you have it installed, you're actually going to have to run it. So go down to your start button here, find Rocket Dock, and click it. Now, now that you have Rocket Dock up, we're going to need to change a few things. You can go ahead and throw all the icons off. I particularly don't like any of the icons currently on the bar, but key the recycling bin. If you don't like the recycling bin that they offer, just go over to it, go to Rocket Dock, go to Icon Settings, and hit default icon it will bring you back to the original Windows 7 recycling bin icon which I feel looks a lot better than this alright so now what we're gonna do is you wanna go to rocket dock dock settings and we'll be in general you can go ahead and say English or whatever language that you speak you want to check this box right here run at startup if you do not check this box whenever you start up your computer there will be no icons on it until you go down here to start and click rocket dock I prefer to just have mine start up when I start my computer so that's what we're gonna do uh, this is pointless so I don't see anything in using this if you want to save your rocket dock settings and upload them on someone else's computer without having to manually go and put them in you can store settings in a portable INI single user file and you can transfer that over to their computer if not, leave it unchecked. And the rest of these you can just ignore. And if you don't want to be able to drag something off of your dock, then you want to lock items. Alright, now moving on into icons. You can have your icon opacity all the way up like that or all the way down. I just like mine all the way down. So whenever you scroll over, it brightens up. Looks a lot better than me. To me, sorry. Okay, your icon size, they keep that at about 61. It, you can make your icons as big or or as small as you want. 61 seems about right to me, so that's where I keep it. Alright, now hover effects. I'll walk you through them. If you put none, nothing will happen. Bubble, that's the one that it will def be by default, and it's my favorite one. It just kind of comes up whenever you move your mouse over it, kind of like a bubble effect. Okay, plateau, it's kind of like a flat. It just looks kind of flat. See that? It's plateauing and flat it'll just be flat and scroll across your icons I'm going to go ahead and keep it on bubble you can choose whatever you like zoom I usually keep that on 11 pixels this will show you how much your icons zoom in whether it's a lot a little or I keep mine on about 10 or 11 zoom width that's gonna be how many icons your thing picks up within the width of your cursor see how it picks up a whole bunch and all the way down it only pick up one I keep mine all the way down because I like to know what I'm clicking on <laughs> and zoom duration is just how long the icon will stay zoomed when you move away from it alright let's look at positioning alright if you're gonna use a background here which you can get from chichacheckit.com which is a YouTube user uh, he does uh, graphics for Photoshop and stuff like that. I'll put his channel in the description as well as their website. You can go to their website, click wallpapers, and you can download any of those that have a dock on them, and it should look like mine. 
So your screen positioning is where you want your dock to be. It can be at the top, the bottom, the left, or the right. Okay. Once you find where you want it, mine would be at the bottom if you use this wallpaper. Uh, you can choose your centering, which mine is all the way at 100%, and your edge offset, which is mine is at 119 to keep it right there in where it's supposed to be. Okay, let's look at style. When you first open Rocket Dock, your opacity will be all the way at 100%. To me, this looks ugly and not very professional. You can choose any theme you want. They all look different, as you can tell. But I like to go ahead and just choose Aero Milk. But this really doesn't matter if you're going to set yourself like mine, because I keep my opacity all the way down. And you can go ahead and turn that all the way down now if you'd like. Alright, so many people ask me, how do I get this text to go away? Well, it's, it's really quite simple. And uh, all you want to do is just check this box right here that says Disable Icon Labels. Once you check that, there would be there would no longer be a label on your icons when you scroll over them if you choose to keep this then you can mess with you can mess with these text settings and make your text look different let's go ahead and disable that let's go to behavior okay well what icon attention effect is is whenever you click on the icon what kind of animation it's going to do i just keep it on bounce so if we close, if we click on Google Chrome, you'll see that it'll bounce up and come back down. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, hold on. I have to click. Okay. All right. You see that little bounce effect that it just did? That's what this is. And I usually just keep mine on the bounce, but you can choose whichever one you want. And there's one more thing that we have to do to make your dock be good. Alright, so you see how if I open Chrome, the dock will be under the page, right? Well, before you set it like mine, yours is going to do this. It's going, you're going to see your dock in the web page, which who's going to want to do that, right? So go to your dock settings, and you're going to want to do always on bottom. That's very important. Always on bottom, or your dock will show whatever you, what, in whatever you're doing. All right, now there's one more thing people ask, and that's how do I get these spaces in between each icon to just add, make it look a little bit cleaner, you know? So before you do this, you're going to have to go to style and raise your opacity just a little bit. Now you're going to see these little black lines. All right, and to add one of these, you're just going to go right click on an icon, go to add item, separator. This little black line is going to come up. And you can just put these in between all your icons. Just put a little separator in between them. It's pretty cool. So I really enjoy that. Now keep like keep a note now that if you want to add icons to your dock, you're going to have to turn your opacity up or it will not work. And let me walk you through how to add icons. To add an icon, all you want to do is go to search, find an icon you want to use. I'll just throw paint on here for example. Just click and drag to your dock and drop it in and it's there all you have to do is just click it and it will launch the program it's easy as that and now once you want to take a program off of your dock if you find that you don't have a use for it anymore just click hold and drag and release on the desktop and it will go away and that pretty much concludes my rocket dock tutorial remember guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up Comment, comment in the comments below if you need help, and subscribe for more videos. Alright guys, I'll see you later. This has been Dalton, and this is my Rocket Dog tutorial.